Good afternoon, Marshall Kirkpatrick from Read Write Web here looking at a new project that's a collaboration between Google, the New York Times, and the Washington Post called Living Stories. It's fascinating. It's an example of the web page transcended, perhaps, and let's give it a look. Here we've got the struggle over healthcare, one of a number of living stories uh, that you'll find in the living stories section of Google Labs. You can read a high-level overview. Uh, you can expand that high-level overview. There's a timeline of key points in the recent history of this topic. Let's see, now you can scroll back a little bit, not super far uh, in this case, but you can imagine stories from the New York Times uh, being placed in this timeline view real easily. Uh, let's see what happens when we click on a link here. Oh, we jump down to one of a series of stories. There's there's all kinds of different stories all put together in a reverse chronological list, kind of like a blog, like a Twitter timeline, like a news feed. And for any of these, you can view more or less. They tend to be organized with details, uh, then editorial. It's pretty handy. Uh, here on the right-hand side, you can see there's a, a section of the page holding still offering a timeline of the most important events. And on the left hand side you can navigate by uh, media asset type. We can show just the key events. We can look at people to see who some of the key players are here. Uh, quotes. That's a fun one pulled out automatically I'm sure. Resources, links off-site to PDFs and other assets, just the images, you can look at videos, graphics is a fun one, check this one out. Here are some holdouts on the uh, healthcare legislation and some interesting statistics about how they compare to had other Congress people that aren't holding out. This could be better explained, to be honest. Um, but it's a it, it's a great little asset, and we can look just at the opinion. You can see that right now I'm looking at the standard view of all the different assets, but I can also click most important only uh, and receive and see just the most important assets in any of these categories. And by default, the newest is first, but it's easy to uh, to flip that view around and see and start from the very beginning of the story. So for all of these, it's easy to oh, let's see, there's no comments enabled here, uh, but you sure can share uh, a link to the story. In some cases, there are comments. Uh, you can log in with Google Friend Connect, Google's version of Facebook Connect, and post your thoughts. And thank goodness there is an RSS feed. Let's see what it's got in it. Presumably we can get, yep, all the additions to the story. And then at any point we can click through there and be brought right to that point in the timeline. It's a little similar to uh, what the New York Times has done on their lead blog and it's pretty cool. All of these have their own links that can be shared. I, I think it's pretty interesting and I can imagine ads being placed on here. I can imagine a lot of repeat traffic being brought back to this site and I like it. As you can see there are a number of different stories uh, being worked on, healthcare, global warming, fixing DC schools, more healthcare, war in Afghanistan. It's a pretty neat way to organize the news and I presume that most of it is automated which is is all the cooler. It's like a new form of content management system. So there's a brief tour. Let me know what you think.